Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So this reading's a little different. This, um, I actually wanted to focus on the, um, some of my favorite tarot card readers. Um, because y'all know from, if you've listened to my channel at any point in time, I don't like to listen to the, to the drama queen ones of, you know, this boyfriend, that neighbor, all the drama that the, that us on the human plane go through. Instead, I really like to focus on the ones that have an esoteric meaning, like, um, Cindy of Awakening to Spirit, Russell at Wrestling Around, Eve of Everlong Mystic, San Santero, and there's a, there's quite a few others. I mean, there's other people that focus on the journey of us, of people, and the energies, and not so much on the day-to-day -day drama. Because guys, I mean, I'm not putting nobody down, but there's loads of tarot card readers out there that want to, you know, keep you hyped up about the drama in your everyday day-to-day -day life. But you know, one day we all go, we're no longer going to be here, and I would rather focus on my soul growth than I would the day-to-day -day bullshit between other people. So I focused on readers that give esoteric meanings, and I, I thought of a few of mine, my favorites, like I've already mentioned, but then I wanted to, like I said, I focused on the esoteric meaning of, you know, the the, the soul's journey, the soul's growth, and I just wanted to see what I would come up with, and I pulled runes until... I got to four, and then it said stop, so I stopped. So what we have here is Jerem. Jerem means maturity, growth, right action. It also means um, harvest, you know, up to about a year. Um, what I also got was that for focusing on the, and I kind of got a twofold thing. I got something for what's since the Sears, and then how you pick up on what their what the esoteric meaning is and how you apply it, okay? So, on the first level of the seers, okay, for those that are focusing on esoteric meanings of your soul's journey and what you need to do, like Russell, Wrestling Around talks about your insides and your energy and your... Um, what you what 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 you need for your life on a core level, on your physical body and... You know, and how that all relates to the energies, okay? Which I really like that about him. And then, like, San and Cindy and Eve focus on the divine meanings around you and how the divine touches you and guides you and what opens up for you and what you need to be doing or what you shouldn't be doing. And, well, not really what you shouldn't be doing, but the energies that, that come in and how they affect you. And if you've listened to any of them and other ones like them, they talk along the same lines. And here lately, everyone's been getting similar messages. I get the messages sometimes and then, and I'll sit here and have a little conversation with myself and I'll journal a little bit. And some of the messages that I pick up on on what I'm feeling for the day, then I'll be damned if somebody like one of my favorite tarot readers, they don't come, if they don't come along and do a reading and they pick up on the same energies I was thinking and feeling about, they're just using the cards to cement the, the energies that they're picking up on, okay, by putting it down in a concrete form by laying out tarot cards. And I used to do tarot, guys, just so y'all know. If you're just seeing my channel for the first time, um, I that's that's me. I, I did used to do tarot card readings, and I would use my runes to back up my readings to see if what I was feeling and picking up was right. So maybe that's why I sometimes pick up on these messages is because I used to do tarot cards, but I don't do them anymore. Um... I don't know why I don't do them anymore. I just, the time to lay them all out and try to sort through, you know, stuff. I just like the runes because they're more concise. They're, they're more um, black and white, whereas cards can be interpreted more. But anyway, so on the, um, this is interaction um, of the divine and the earthly realm, which makes, which this is saying that the, the, esoteric type of seers are the middleman between the messages they get from the divine and if it resonates for you when they do a reading and you pick up on it then you and it resonates for you at that time then it tells you how things are going on a soul level okay and then i got soe lu which soe lu um, generally means success and vitality, but it also on the esoteric level, it means higher self, spiritual will, divine blessing and enlightenment. So on the seers level, they are, um, again, being the, the middleman between the divine and the earthly realm. And they are as shamans and healers, because they are all healers, guys, rather you realize it or not, the readings that they've been getting as, you know, the ones that do those kind of readings lately, they have been coming, they have been getting the messages of healing the earth plane and healing 
people on the on the earth plane because we're going through a huge um a huge download of consciousness and um, and enlightenment from the divine and they're picking up on all of us are picking up on those energies even if you've never even thought about your spiritual journey or your soul's journey you are picking up on those energies too you may not realize it or figure out or, or may even be or maybe you're slowly becoming awakened after feeling like you've been asleep for a long time and the, the esoteric type of readings that the seers do will help you and to guide your journey they will give you enlightenment okay then we have anzu which is advice communication it can also mean higher learning but again it's it's saying that the seers are the go-between divinity and the earth realm and the earth plane and how it can help you okay so um this is you know uh contemplation inspiration uh traditions from the divine to those who who need it um and if you you know they give wise counsel also opportunity to increase your um your wisdom from your ancestors of the your from the ancestral world um the divine soul the esoteric um higher realms to the earth plane so um that's what that's what the seers are doing is you know it's advice from them and then lagoos is they're using their their um, it's, it means psychic power and intuition and it's to help others see and grow on their soul journey for the ones that do the esoteric type readings okay so that actually all makes sense to me because it's it's saying that those that are doing the esoteric type of energy readings connecting the divine to you or to the earthly plane everything will flow if that reading resonates for you and you take the advice it will help help you along your spiritual journey so that all makes sense for me for the seers but then i was getting also a second um like i said it's like this is like a twofold type thing as far as us on the earth plane that are, that read those kind look at those kind of tarot card readings and those kind of seers okay we are getting the divine message from them okay and if it the reading resonates for you then you can use that over time to help your soul to grow okay and then for with soe lu it's talking about if you can apply the information that you get okay then your spiritual will will grow your higher self will connect you with the energy of the divine so that you have enlightenment okay and that's of course if you take the advice from any a reading that resonates with you because nothing is set in stone okay so when you get the advice from a seer or you see a reading from them if you take you will help your soul to grow if you if the message resonates and you take the um, information that the that you get from the readings and help your soul to grow and you know become more enlightened to understanding your soul's journey if the readings resonate with you okay then with lagoos it will make things flow better your intuition will open up your um um if you take take if the message resonates and you take the re, the take it and do actually do something with it by doing the right thing by um have, applying it to your life to help you to flow make your life go smoother by following the divine wisdom then your soul your higher self will become more enlightened um so that's kind of how it comes in as a twofold type thing if if the re, if they do a reading and it resonates for you i had a bunch of other messages come in but they come in so fast sometimes guys when i start channeling it's really kind of hard to to write it all down to make sure that i get all the messages across because i was kind of like i said getting a twofold thing from the seers but this overall to me is saying that more seers are becoming more connected to the divine and bringing forth the messages so if readings resonate for you guys pay attention and try to apply and use that energy if if it resonates with you because we have some really our world is just changing so much and the veil between the worlds is so thin that if you just pay attention you're going to see a lot of it and the readings will make more sense to you i know there's a lot of people out there that don't like tarot and don't like you know that listen to other kinds of different things but the the seers i think right now are just all plugged into the same 
energy coming from the divine and trying to help make sense of it all for those of us that don't do um, do readings for ourselves and are looking for answers. You're going to find the answers because the divine wisdom is flowing through the seers to us. So that's my little reading for the seers and, and the recipients of people that like to look at um, the tarot card readers. And it's just, it's just for some reason this morning, I was just like, let me do something different. Let me see what the angels advice for the seers and the people that receive their messages. So this is just kind of like a community type read, um, though I'm going to title it um, Angels um, Runic Advice for Seers. I guess, and um, I don't want to say recipients, I guess, and, and, and collective community. But um, I don't know, that's just what I was picking up on this morning. I just, I don't know, I, I, I've been picking up some weird, mess. I'm not weird, but just picking up some messages I'm trying to make sense of myself. And this one, they were just saying, you got to do it this way, you got to do it this way. So here it is. I did the best I could with it. Guys, if this resonates with you, like, subscribe, and share. Um, check if you have favorite tarot card readers. Look to see for messages that are for your, your divine soul's growth, more so than the daily drama that goes on. I don't even look at ones anymore, any tarot card meetings, any readers anymore that talk about the drama every day. There's enough drama every day without me having to go look for it. <laughs> so I just, I just somehow wanted to bridge the gap between Sears and the collective of people that are actually looking for answers. And everything I see here, guys, is that... The seers have to be working from an open heart. And some of the ones that I look at, I know that they do. And I've actually done a private little read for one or two that I sent off to them that were like, wow, yeah, we were just talking about that. Because I did one for one of my favorite readers. And she was like, yeah, me and a friend were just talking about exactly what you're talking about. So I know I'm picking up on the right energies. I'm just not always good at explaining things. But guys, this is it. So I hope this helped. Um, understand where your seers are coming from and how it can help you and so you can have more flow in your life on your soul's journey on your spiritual journey and your path of destiny Lana Scott Lighthouse